Do you know which way your building faces? How about in which direction the street in front of your building runs? Today, we're going to explore cartography or map making by walking around our neighborhood and taking notice of what we see there. We're also going to be learning about cardinal directions, which is north, south, east, and west. Maps are scientific tools of navigation, but they also tell us the story of the map maker. Are you ready to tell us the story of your neighborhood? You will need a compass or a compass app, paper, pencil, a ruler, and markers or colored pencils. For this activity, you'll need to go to the front of your building or go on a short walk. So please ask your caregiver to accompany you or ask your caregiver to give you permission to go on a quick jaunt around the neighborhood. So I'm out in front of my building right now. The first thing you'll want to do is find which direction your building faces. To do that, you'll need to take out a compass. I don't have a compass, so I asked my colleague Manny for help. You should check out his video on homemade compasses. A magnetized needle floating in water will align with the north and south poles. There's north and south. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning and the sun is over there. If that way is east, then my building faces south and my street runs east-west. Once you know which way your building faces and which streets are on either end of your block, you can go out and look for landmarks. Landmarks are significant buildings or natural structures. So you want to go out and see if there's anything of interest that you can then add to your map. Make sure to take a piece of paper and a marker so that you can write down which side of the street it's on and where it is located. Up ahead, I see a beautiful mural of three African-American women who shaped the future. I will make a note of it. It's on the southeast corner of Clifton Place and Grand Avenue. I know there are two huge churches up ahead, so they would make a great landmark for my map. Plus, they are across from the subway station, which is an important landmark as well. I have my notes and my map making tools ready to go. Just a note, I'm going to draw everything in pencil first in case I make a mistake. The first step is to draw the compass rows on your map and mark north, east, south, and west. Now that we have designated the map orientation, we can lay out the street grid. I don't know the actual distance between streets, so I'm not going to draw my map to scale. I do know that the blocks that run east-west are longer than the north-south blocks, so I will preserve that proportion. Once you have the streets labeled, double-check the spelling and directions in your notes. I have misspelled some names, so I need to correct them before I write them in ink. Now you'll find a place on your map for a title, and also mark where the landmarks go, so you'll know how much space you have to draw them in. You can be as creative as you want as you represent your landmarks. I will draw mine on a separate piece of paper, then attach them to the map. Once you have finished coloring, review your notes and place the landmarks on the map in the appropriate spaces. The mural was on the southeast corner of Clifton Place and Grand, so it goes here. Now attach the rest. Well, I have a pretty good start to my map here. I've got the name of the neighborhood, Clinton Hill. I have my compass rose that tells me directions. I have all the streets named and labeled, and I have three landmarks, which I have also labeled. Now my map is ready, I can start giving directions. For example, if I wanted to give directions from the subway to the mural, I would tell someone to exit Clinton Washington Station at the southeast exit and head east on Lafayette for two blocks, then south on Grand for one block. So I encourage you to make your map and to plot a path on the map between two of the landmarks using the cardinal directions. It will give you good practice in the science and the language of navigation. It's a good skill to have for sailing, but it also helps us here on land. So, get out there and explore your neighborhood. Have some fun, take some good notes, very detailed notes, then come back and draw your map. And I challenge you to give directions to your friends and family using that map. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have fun. We'll see you next time.